Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. Um, yesterday I was planning to do a whole bunch of time lapse and what have you, showing the process of uh, what I'm what I'm doing. Uh, but unfortunately, my action camera decided that it was going to run out of battery about five seconds into bricklaying, so uh, that kind of didn't work. So we're going to have another go at it today and um, I'll patch in various things I did yesterday like dressing bricks, I did a lot of that, and doing a lot of uh, brick cuts. Um, I've, I'm into the fiddly bit now. I've got to terminate the chimney stack there. Yesterday I fitted the air bricks, uh, which I managed to get from B&Q Trade Point. Thanks guys. And um, yeah, there was a lot of, a lot of fiddle faddle. Um, just getting the shapes, special shapes and cuts ready for um, what I'm doing next. Um, two buckets of muck, um, exactly the same uh, as I would I did yesterday, which is a five to one to one mix. So five sand, one cement, and one hydrated lime by volume, and. Um, it's uh, it's a it's a nice mix actually. It's uh, quite soft, pliable, um, hangs around for a while, um, good open time. I'm not mixing masses because I can't use it quick enough uh, because of all all this sort of um, complication. If I was doing just like a runner walling, I'd do a barrel load and I'd use it in about the same time. But here it's it's a little more precise. Anyway, so um, that's the. That's what we're doing today. I would dearly love to get to the top of there. Can't see any reason why not, because once I've done that bit, it's just straight run um, with little cuts in the end, little diagonal cuts at either end. Either end. And then uh, I'm going to go up to when it bothers to focus. Thank you. Uh, just go up to there. And then I'm outside because I'll need to um, work from the outside just to build up to the level of you can't quite see it level of the ridge so there we go um let's hope the action camera um gives me a better view and i'll reposition it today because uh, yesterday you would have just seen the back of my head which is not very exciting so anyway enough blather uh got my radio got me tea got some muck got some bricks let's rock and roll Okay, so uh, I'm going to be uh, showing you uh, how I go about dressing a brick. Dressing, not addressing. Uh, so I've got my brick here and uh, I'm just dropping it a couple of times to make sure there's no uh, cracks or breaks in it uh, because I don't want to put a broken brick into a wall or a brick that's going to get broken once it's in the wall. So it's just a little test just to make sure it's uh, solid and good. And the process of dressing is very simply cutting off any old mortar that there might be on the brick. And um, I'm going to be scraping out um, mortar from the groove in the middle, uh, which in years to come uh, would become a frog, which is the dimple in the middle of a brick. Um, at this point, I think all they'd done was put a stick in the bottom of the mould and slap the clay on top of it. Um, effective, it gives a mechanical bond to the mortar and the uh, bed below. So chiselling off the mortar, some, some was better than others. Uh, there's a lot of bricks that came out of that chimney stack that didn't need any dressing whatsoever, just a light brush and, uh, and that's not so good. Uh, but some were better than others and where I stopped taking the wall down was where I was having to chisel the bricks off so there's no need. Um, the, on the front of this particular brick, uh, which I'm just about to take off there, there is some uh, render which uh, the guy put on uh, some years ago to block up holes in the wall uh, so that uh, smoke and soot didn't escape into the, chim into the attic. Um, it also acted as um, pointing for the wall, which is pretty good. Uh, on the inside, there was a lot of soot, which I'm scraping off. You can't bond mortar to soot. And also, you can't bond mortar to anything that's loose, dusty or friable. So a good scrape, a good clean, a good brush. And uh, that's as much as is necessary 
to dress a brick and yeah they some were better than others some required quite a bit of hard work um, and I'm just checking here to make sure that uh, there's no crusty little bits uh, left on there before I move on to the next one there we are one done So now I'm mixing the mortar uh, for these bricks and it's a 5 to 1 to 1 mix. So 5 sand, 1 cement, 1 hydrated line by volume. And what I'm doing here is dry mixing it uh, to get some of the lumps out. Uh, the lime looks like it's been stored for ages and some of it's gone quite lumpy. And then adding enough water, little by little, to make a nice pliable soft mix. And I'm, I'm just moving my wheelbarrow there because uh, kneeling down is making my back ache something rotten. So anyway, there we go, nice and quick, and uh, let's go and use it. that 1980s drum machine okay so I've finished the chimney stack and I'm going to be going back to the wall watch out for the little blob of cement near the camera
this is the last video that I got of the brickwork uh, because uh, the next bit was done outside and there was nowhere safe to uh, put the tripod and it was blowing a gale as well so uh, it just well you'll see it in a moment or two the next job after this was to do some structural woodwork and I had to extend the rafters the stub rafters which were originally propped up against the chimney stack which of course is now gone um, so 4b2 structural grade timber and some hefty m12 uh, threaded rods and nuts uh, it behaves as one which you would expect it to and um, up at the ridge I uh, extended the ridge board which you'll see in a moment and uh, so that's the that's the end of the week shot um, and effectively that's done all I need to do is to tie the uh, the metal straps to the wall which I'll do as late as possible to give the brickwork and mortar a chance to cure uh, so next week is um, tiling, battening, ridge and uh, that's effectively me done on this job and I've enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching, really appreciate it, um, thumbs up, like and subscribe if you would please, it helps me. So uh, anyway, thank you.